Hi, this is Shivan from Gadgetius.com and today in this video we are going to unbox and review Lenovo N100 wireless mouse. So, let's get started. So guys, this is the box of Lenovo N100 mouse and the box is slightly out of shape because the packaging was not that great. I ordered this from Amazon.com for uh, around 760 rupees. The MRP on the box is around triple uh, nine rupees. I will leave direct links in the description down below if you wanna buy one. So on the back side you can see it has DPI of thousand. So that's a pretty decent DPI. Also it has range of around ten meters. So it's a really cool feature. Uh, there were so many video videos of N50 mouse. So I decided to buy a hundred mouse and uh, review it. So let's unbox this and see what are the box contents. So inside the package you get mouse, a battery, so they have provided the battery separately. So we get this warranty guide and some user manual and booklet stuff, we don't need that. So this has AA battery, so let's open up and insert the battery. So it's slightly awkward design and the top gets really uh, easily removed and you can insert the battery here so here is the wireless receiver and it's of really uh, good quality metallic build so we will check that out uh, in the live demo so at the bottom you can see there is on off button and when you turn on the laser light also glows the feel of the mouse is quite comfortable and its uh, buttons are also quite tactile and clicky it also has three button clicks means uh, uh, scroll also works as a middle button so that's a really good feature. So here's how N100 compares with Logitech M235 mouse. As you can see, it is slightly longer, but the M235 mouse is slightly taller and it has elevated design, so it fits uh, more comfortably in your hand or palm. Uh, but the Lenovo also has some uh, really good uh, lens, so your palm also reads on it comfortably. Compared to Logitech mouse, Lenovo mouse uh, feels slightly cheap because it has all plastic, while Logitech has uh, some rubberized finish here that feels really good in hands also the front part is removable so it doesn't feel like that uh, durable so it's slightly delicate than the uh, Logitech mouse uh, in future it might happen that the, this, this becomes slightly loose or may fall off easily uh, if you drop this mouse more, more often so we'll check out live performance of this mouse so now let's play slicer.io and see how the sensitivity of the mouse is so let's play the game as you can see, it's really pretty much smooth and there is no problem here. So here is our website gadgetings.com and as you can see the scrolling is really really fast. There is no issue here. So let's open up the post. So as you can see there are the uh, posts are opening in the new tab. So the middle button also works really really fine. So overall this mouse is really good for day to day usage but not for gaming or any other uh, heavy works. Build quality wise this mouse feels really good but it has some plasticky feel to it. I don't know how it will go uh, after 2 or 3 months when I drop this mouse 2 or 3 times. Uh, this Logitech mouse survived 2 to 3 drops from a table height. So build quality of the Logitech mouse is also really good. Uh, this mouse is preferable for people with slightly big hands because it's slightly longer and it can cover your hands uh, slightly better so it, I will recommend this mouse for people with slightly bigger hands and want a normal day to day usage mouse also the click noise is really low so it's really good for uh, people who click more and more so that's it for the video guys if you like this video do give it a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this this is Shwan here from GadgetGames.com thanks for you